Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Nursery Tuvasiti. In the previous tutorial, we have understand the concept of switch statement. And now, in this tutorial, we will cover two basic programs based on the switch statement. Question 1. Write a program to design calculator with basic operations using switch case. And question 2. Write a program to find number of days in a month using switch case. So let's start with our first question. Write a program to design calculator with the basic operations using switch. So let's see what we are going to do. As we know the basic operations in a calculator are plus, minus, multiplication, division and modulus. And we know how to perform these operations individually. So now in this program we will take two input from the user and store it in two variables say a and b and also ask the operator from the user for performing the operation from any one of them. Now we have to code the program using the switch statement and in switch we will check what operator has been input by the user and according to that case we will perform the given operation. For example if we choose star then we will multiply these two numbers and provide you the answer. So this is the logic so let's start coding. Hash include stdio.h int main let's declare two variables int a comma b a float variable in which we will store our result or say answer ans and a character to store the operator now let's ask the user enter the first number scanf person d and person a similarly we will ask the second number let's copy this and paste it and we will print enter the second number or we change the variable as am person b now we will ask the operation to perform so let's ask print f choose operation to perform what are they plus minus multiply divide and modulus can f percent c because it is a character m percent ch now let's initialize our answer with zero to avoid the garbage problem and now we need a switch case over here switch ch we pass the character to perform the operation whatever the user input and then we will check cases one by one first take case for the addition if the user choose plus operator then we have to store a plus b in our answer answer is equal to a plus b in second case as the subtraction say so if the user choose subtraction then the answer will be a minus b then case multiplication and the answer equal to a into b in case division answer equal to a divide b in case the last one modulus answer would be a modulus b a modulus means the remainder for division case we will use float a and float b because these are integer and division always get the float value and in the last we will put default and we will print invalid operation if none of the above cases is matched and now let's print that answer that the result is person d person c person d is equal to person f backslash n and what are these the first is a variable second is character then b and the third is answer okay and return zero and here we go we have made the calculator with basic operations you can add other operations too in this calculator if you want to make it more advanced calculator okay so let's run and build it okay and there is one error over here let me show you that once warning unknown conversion type character with the brackets 
okay so i wanted to tell you that this kind of format is not allowed in c plus c but it is valid in c plus plus we are basically type casting our a variable into the float one so we have to use the brackets in the float and not in the variables and one more thing okay we forget to use break after every case so let's write those also i've already told you what is the need of the break otherwise whatever you will input plus minus it will always give you the answer as a modulus p and the invalid operation too. now let's run and build it enter the first number say 4 and the second number say 2 now it is not allowing us to input the character because a character always reads a space as a new character so to avoid this problem we will use a space over here in a scanner function now let's build and execute it 5 and 3 now it is asking us so we have choose multiply and the answer is 15 5 into 3 is equal to 15.000 so let's close it hope you have understand the concept of the switch statement now let's move to the second question write a program to find the number of days in a month using switch case to solve this program first we have the required knowledge about the total days in a month like this in the month of jan march may july august october and december these months contain 31 days in the month of april june september and november it, they contain 30 days and in the month of Feb, it contains 28 days here we are not checking the leap year so we can fix the 28 days in february now what we need to do in our program first we take the input month number from the user and then we will use switch statement and match the input month from all the cases now as there are 12 months so 12 cases should be right inside the switch and one default case and we have already seen for which month we will use print 31 days and 30 and 28 days and we will also use a default case if a user print the invalid month number and this is the simple logic we can start write code directly hash include stdio.h int main now we declare the month variable and we'll ask input from the user printf enter month number from 1 to 12 so that the user will not do this kind of mistake then we'll scan person d and person month and now we will use the switch statement in the switch we will write the month whatever the user will input and we'll check from each case the case number one colon we are leaving blank space here right now okay and the case number three case number five these all are the numbers which contain the days 31 we are basically grouping them together and in this case we will print 31 days backslash and a break statement so basically what we have done we have grouped all the 31 days cases together because as we know switch executes the cases where a match found and after that it executes all the statement till the break statement is found and that's why we leave the blank space here and at the, the last case, the, uh, we print a required statement and write a break statement. And, and similarly, we will group all the 30 days cases together too. And what are they? Case 4, case 6, case 9 and case 11. And, and here we will print 30 days. Okay, and we will write a break statement here. In which case we have missed case number 2 for that we will print 28 days that is of a month and in the end we will use default in case if user print, uh, user enter number other than 1 to 12 that print invalid month number let's break to the right and this is it return zero and we did it so let's build and execute it
ओके वी हैव राइट परसेंट हेयर ओवर है वी हैव टू राइट एम परसेंट मंथ एंड द मंथ नंबर फ्रॉम वन टू ट्वेल्व से फाइव थर्टी वन डेज सो द फिफ्थ नंबर मंथ कंटेन दी थर्टी वन डेज एंड इट इज राइट ओके सो लेट्स क्लोज इट सो दैट्स ऑल फॉर टू डेज टूटोरियल इन द नेक्स्ट टूटोरियल वी विल लर्न लूप कंट्रोल इंस्ट्रक्शन hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and if you have found any queries you can either comment in the comment box or can mail us at nerdtoware@gmail.com do follow our channel nursery to varsity on all our social media handles keep liking keep subscribing and do not forget to press the bell icon thanks for watching stay tuned